Hi friends, this is Pastor Harley from the Broadway Global Methodist Church. Uh, the sermon text today at church, and I hope that you're going to be worshiping God in church today, is from Ephesians chapter 3, verses 10 and 11. Let, let me read them to you. So that through the church, the manifold wisdom of God might be now made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was according to the eternal purpose that he has realized in Christ Jesus our Lord. And so Paul is talking about what is going on that he is preaching and teaching, that the people are hearing and that the people are, are, are grasping what it means that the Messiah has come. And he's saying this is so that even what is great and powerful, even what, is, what in this world is, is beyond our reach to touch, those rulers in the heavenly places might know the many-sided wisdom of God. That uh, God's wisdom is not just one, as, as we read in, in some earlier days, just of the laws that, that we keep and the, and the rules that he sets. That he, but that, that he also sent the Christ for a redemptive purpose. That he is calling, calling men and women to take on the image of God that we were designed to have at the first. This is his eternal purpose. He has never, God has never swerved away from this purpose to restore us to fellowship with him. God is looking to make you part of his eternal purpose first by touching your life and being, and, and being in your life such that you now possess and are sourced by and give out to the world the image of his beloved son. The eternal purpose in Christ is going to be seen as Christ's life works in your life. Be an instrument of his peace, be an instrument of his love, and uh, set yourself within that eternal purpose of God. Be blessed.